Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day, and today the Detroit Pistons are signing Tobias Harris to a two-year, fifty-two million dollar deal. I love this deal for Detroit. It, I mean, for Detroit to add in some, some, you know, a veteran player like Tobias Harris on this roster, um, this is this is going to take them over the top. I really believe so. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to say that they're going to turn into a playoff team or something like that, but look. If you look at a Rockets team last year who added in, and I always use this example because of the veteran, what they did when they had the money to spend, just like the Pistons do now. And what did they do when they spent it? They brought in veterans and, and mixed them with their young guys. That is exactly what the Pistons are doing right now. Obviously, they started off this offseason by drafting Ron Holland um, to mix with their young guys. But then they trade for Tim Hardaway Jr., who's a veteran, who's a good three-point shooter, and now they signed Tobias Harris. I like these additions. I also like the hire with J.B. Bickerstaff. So I think they're making, right now, they're making the right moves. And if you can have Cade Cunningham stay healthy, make a little bit of a jump next season, um, you know, and maybe hope for some of your young guys to keep improving. And Tobias Harris and Tim Hardaway Jr. do a solid job on this Pistons team. I don't see the Pistons being the 15th seed in, in the Eastern Conference uh, knowing Tobias Harris is going to get the ball more than he did with Philly last year. He's going to get more shots and get to take over more. Uh, I think Tobias Harris is going to have a great season with the Indiana, sorry, w w with the Detroit Pistons. And I really could see the Pistons taking a jump in the Eastern Conference. Have we saw them as the 14th or 15th seed in the Eastern Conference this year? I could see them taking a jump. It, but you know if they're going to have to make more improvements. They still have a lot of money to spend. I could see them taking a jump to like the 12th seed in the Eastern Conference. Uh, this is a weak conference. Yes, there are some teams like the Knicks and the 76ers who have really been improving their rosters. But outside of that and outside of Boston, look, I think there are four teams, maybe five teams in the Eastern Conference who I think will you know stay in their position. Look, I, I like um, Boston and I like New York and Philadelphia. I think teams like Cleveland, Orlando, uh, you know, Cleveland and Orlando will continue to be good next season. Same thing with Milwaukee. Um, but then outside of those six teams, maybe you could argue, maybe you could put the Pacers in with those six teams. I think the rest of the Eastern Conference, it's it's up for grabs. Uh, I think the first seven spots, you know, with Boston, Philly, New York, Cleveland, Orlando, uh, Milwaukee, and you know, in Indiana. I think those are the top seven teams in, in the Eastern Conference. I don't think there's any debate of anybody being better than those seven teams but then eight you know the the rest of the teams eight through 15 i think anybody can be at the eight seed or the nine seed so uh the pistons definitely could be better next year and especially with some eastern conference teams i'm thinking about the bulls and the hawks getting worse uh, the wizards so uh I, I think the pistons very very well could be better than people think next season tobias harris averaged 17 points per game he averaged seven rebounds per game three assists per game, one steal per game, one block per game. He's a good three-point shooter. This is another good three-point shooter that they're adding in. Career three-point shooter, 37%. He shot 35% this year. Shot 39% in the 22-23 season with 15 points and six rebounds per game. So I love this addition for the Pistons. And look, I don't see them being done because they had a lot of money spent. I think over $100 million to spend. This is only $30 million a year. Uh, or 30, 31 million a year for Tobias Harris, or less, 20, 26 million a year for Tobias Harris, uh, getting a two year, $52 million deal. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and peace out.